Okay, let me show you what I've got going on here. I think I found a couple problems. This is an extension of the Volkswagen video I did a while back <clears throat> where I have a code, excuse me, and I thought I had air leaking through the air box. It says it's getting extra air from somewhere. So I'm also losing coolant. The coolant will get low. So I took the gigantic air box off again and looked under here and I seized me a couple of problems. First, oh, hi, that's hot. First one being, I got some broken lines right here. Took them off. You can see right here this line that goes here, the vacuum line, the damn flashlight down. The vacuum line goes right there to right there and right here down to back in there. My finger is light fill is broken and that comes as a whole kit that plugs replaces this little dealy here a little check valve i done went ahead and ordered that part i guess that's supposed to go somewhere like that i don't know so oh hey that's warm ordered that part this whole thing that goes there there down here and I'm not sure where that goes down in there. The screen went off, sorry, I couldn't see. But anyway, at any rate, taking this little doodad off here, which is the vacuum pump for the brake booster, I noticed this um, brake booster hose also went south on me once when I replaced the timing belt and I started it up and it was rattling like a something that rattles a lot and I noticed that this brake booster hose was cracked they've got all these hard plastic lines on here I think that's by purpose so I just replaced it with this rubber hose for good measure and that's been working it's a little kinked right here so I shortened it a little bit it's better but I can fix that too and my GoPro battery is going to die, so I'll go change that. But my next course of action took the battery out. Next course of action is to take this little jobber off here. That's your vacuum uh, jobber. Sk -sk 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 creates vacuum. And I think it has something to do with boost on here. I'm a total noob to these uh, turbo engines, so I'm just kind of making it up as I go. This sucker's got to come off. There is a bolt har, one dar, and then I'm working on this one way under there, if you can see her, right back there. To get that one off, it should come off. And then I can see where my coolant leak is, which is all that stuff down there. So I will go change the battery and come back. GoPro stop recording. And I'm back. So I am just getting this last bolt out of this vacuum pump. Ain't easy. I also noticed I went back, I used to have the um, block off plate up here for the P PCV. And I read some stuff and and you should put that on there. So I got a little spooked, took it off, put stock one back on, but I'm noticing a bunch of oil coming out of stuff, coming out of places. So I may go back to that plate. Oh, and there we have it. That sucker buried back in there. And this thing should, should just come off like it do. He said be very careful of this thing because it can break. So I'm trying to, there we go. That's what she looks like. It's 
got a little rubber o-ring in there doesn't appear to be leaking anywhere it's fairly clean of oil see this bracket here that took the wiring off that already try to get that out of the way it's got a ground on it this uh, conduit cover for the wiring is really brittle under here I may replace that I need to figure out where I am leaking coolant from. Let me set this aside. Because this is my main concern right now is this coolant leaking to drain the coolant which I have no idea how to do that right now I see coolant but I just can't tell exactly you oh, know I see something back here this stuff coming out of here it looks like the housing is like cracked maybe let's clean that off so I can see what's going on here so I'm thinking maybe this housing here this plastic Thing is probably like everything else down here and it's just really brittle I don't see it coming the hoses those look pretty all right as far as I can see I'm guessing it's this plastic jobber I need to figure out how to drain the coolant out so I'm going to go do that and you go get a drink and put this on pause and we'll both come back, convene here in the next few minutes. GoPro stop recording. Alrighty, I am back, had some lunch and I drained the coolant. I couldn't find a drain on the radiator so I just pulled a hose underneath so the car is currently jacked up on one side. So I needed to take this hose, this thing off, and those other hoses down in there to see if I can determine where this is leaking. So first thing I'm going to do is take this little bugger here which I guess is uh, some kind of a temperature sensor. You find some more. I think it's got some conduit like this. I think it's blue though, but whatever. This stuff is just crumbling. Flashlights. Those right there. So to remove this, you got this little clip here. It looks like you got a pull. Lose it. So that just comes out of there. I believe this is a temperature. Oh boy. Oh boy. We oh, got a lugger here. Okay, so my draining did nothing. There's an O ring on that, so that seems to be. Pretty well sealed. Still leaking. As you can see, this is probably where our leak is in this area because that's exactly where it's landing.
try to get all these hose clamps. temperature sensor out of the way. It's not cooperating. Work with me. Help me help you. Okay, so I gotta pull this off. Easier said than done. really hard to get these Continues to drain underneath. But I sure like their hose clamps on these things. Turned it now, I can't get it to hook back on there. Ew. Boy, that is stuck on there. have any hose pliers sometimes if you sort of get under there and break the tension and turn it there we go comes off And the coolant continues to come. At least I got the pan in the general area down there. Oh, I'm going to get to all these. See, this seems to be a vacuum. This is not coolant that's just a vacuum pass through which they incorporated into the coolant thing which is kind of weird oh man I don't know how I'm gonna get to some of these it's actually harder now that I jack the car up Got myself into a bigger pickle here. I'm trying to get these hose clamps off, they're not cooperating here. You know, it's just great to watch somebody struggle. YouTube video. There we go. Got that one off.
Uh, and of course, more coolant. So apparently, that one underneath there, draining that, did nothing. So I got two more. And they are the hard ones. And there's three bolts on this thing to get it out. And I'm pretty sure that's a problem because I went to go pull this vacuum off there and it just cracked right off. It's broke. Someday I'm going to invest in a nice set of hose clamp pliers. There is such a thing. Angle on the dangle here. These things don't want to cooperate. See, not good. Can't really go underneath this thing. Get a good squeeze on it. Pops off. I think that's sufficient. Just get it off there, maybe. Nope, it's still clinging on to the. Uh, it doesn't help that it's 8 million degrees out here. Oops, now I moved it over to where I can't get on it. I'm gonna get some paper towels and soak some of that up. Okay, major progress. I didn't want to do this on camera. It was a real pain in the ass getting that thing out. And I didn't want the curse words to be caught And this is it, right here, and it broke off here when I pulled it out. The, there was still part of it inside, the, inside of here. I had to pry it out. So I got some paper towels under here absorbing what, what comes out. Um, this hose is a little spongy, but otherwise I think it's okay. I need to try to look at it better, move that clamp back somehow, but I think it's fine. I think what happened is, uh, here's the seal. It's all crusty. I think this thing broke off in there and it was seeping through there. I just hope it wasn't one of the hoses. I don't see any leaks out of the hose. It seems like it was coming out of this housing here. So I'm going to go ahead and order one of these. And it should be here tomorrow and I'll finish this video up then. Okay, so I got a new housing this morning. Came by Amazon. 
It's acting like it's hitting on something. I wonder if it's this hose clamp I put on here. Yeah, I think it is. Well, it seemed like a good idea, but now I gotta loosen it up and turn it or something. I think it's hitting the block. So I'll do that. Come right back. Okay, so I had to take a little sanity break. And I went to Napa and got me a shorter extension here that kind of wobbles so I can get these bolts started. Otherwise, I was about to throw something. Nobody wants that. I also got me a set of hose clamp pliers. We'll see how those work. Oh, popped off. Too tight because I only got one bolt in there, so I'm gonna loosen that up just a touch so it wiggles around a little bit. Okay, one. See, this uh, extension I got here is I didn't even notice when I bought it, it's a little wobble thing. That's cool. Glad I got that. I like it. I did that on purpose. They do not make it easy to reach in here. Hope this one is not because when I put it in before it was a little crooked. Just hope it is not cross threaded now. It seems to be going in pretty straightforward there. That's good. That's good. I'm right next to the camera. I hope you guys can see this. Well, it don't matter. You get the gist of everything. Working on cars is just a process. You can watch videos all day long, it still doesn't. It gets all different when you start doing it. The way you, ow, hey, that's warm. The way you do something is totally different than the way somebody else does it. Oh, not good. Dropped it in the pool. This is like performing surgery in a way. It's, it spills like blood down there. Sorry to be graphic. It's kind of what it reminds me of, I guess. Not that I've ever done surgery. Yes. You know, it's just uh, watching TV and stuff. There we go. And that uh, on the level of some people going to like clean this stuff out.
Oh, damn it. I better find the hole first. There it is, way up there. Oh my gosh, that is not easy. Oh, it is not easy to get my hand in there. Okay, and like magic, I got it on. You didn't need to see that. It was very ugly. I finally got it on there though. That bottom bolt was a, a pain, but I figure, you know, people don't want to watch every little aspect. So I just got it on off camera. So now I got that bottom hose. Hopefully you guys can see this stuff. My light's getting dull. Let me see if it's... Yeah, it needs to be charged. I left it on. I got that bottom hose on. I used a screw worm clamp. I was tired of messing around with that spring clamp. Especially because I didn't have the right kind of pliers to put it on. So I got to put this hose down there, this hose here, and then I've got some vacuum line coming to fix this little mess going on there. I did order the correct part for all of that stuff there, but it won't be here for a while, so I'm just going to use regular vacuum hose for the time being. So. Let's, um, I'm going to regroup. I also ordered a new uh, uh, temperature sensor for here. I don't know when that will be here. Seems like you got to order everything now. The auto parts stores don't have anything. And now that my butt is extremely hot from being in the sun. Let's try this. Clampy thing I got here. Let's see, figure out how to use it here. It appears you open that up and then you it's ratcheting. It's got this little release here. So let's see how this works. Pop this sucker on there and see if we can. That's one problem I see with already. The hose clamp has to be in the right orientation. Swivel it up a little bit here. Which ain't easy. Okay. And does it open any further than that? Oh yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Oh, that was so easy. That was ridiculously easy. These things. That is what I'm talking about. I was going to use channel locks. I would have fought with that for an hour. I'm trying to clean this up a little bit in here because I, 
uh, you know, want to get it sort of clean. So I gotta fish this hose. I am gonna go charge my light. So actually, I'm gonna go get my big light. So I'll be right back. Okay, that helps a little bit. So I just off camera use this to put this clamp on and my gosh where have these things been all my life I don't know how I've ever gotten by without them and I don't, it will never go without them again they're just a uh, incredibly easier that's all I can say than trying to fight with the these stupid things like a caveman tool so it looks like we got lower hose way down there upper hose right there that's on there that's on there this one's on here I got the vacuum brake booster hose on there I need to put this one on here and I'm waiting for vacuum hose to come I ordered on Amazon to fix this little um, mess they have I hope I can remember how it went I still got the old pieces so I guess we'll figure it out this has to connect somewhere, and that has to connect somewhere. I don't really remember where. I think it goes to... Oh yeah, yeah, I remember now. It goes on this thing. This vacuum pump for the brakes. But I'm thinking maybe that's where my my code was coming from with the extra air getting in the system. Maybe that vacuum leak was pulling extra air in here through the intake manifold. And that's where I was getting the code. It's very possible. So I think I'll put this clamp, this hose on. I can still get to that one down there. I'm gonna wait to put this on until the hose gets here so I can easily get to it without fighting and then I got my new temperature sensor coming because it's possible that could have been leaking too but I really think what it was is the this housing I'm showing you this I think I've shown this before and see how it's broken off and this rubber ring is all hardened and crusty and this whole thing is broken off here. It was broken off in the engine. I had to pull it out of there. So I believe that's what it was. You can see this hole, this one down here. This is the one I was having trouble with getting at. And why they would put that there, I mean, this thing is to strengthen, I'm sure. But I mean, for cripe's sake, they could have done something. Okay, so I did find some wiring loom stuff so I just have to open this little I don't know what you call that thing it's like a holder I guess and try to get this old stuff off of here without screwing everything up I think this stuff might be bigger a little bit a little bit It's also blue. So cut it about right there.
don't know if it's going to go back into that thingy there. It just makes me feel better to have this covered. Because those are probably pretty important wires there. There we go. That looks snazzy. And I'm going to put some electrical tape around the end there. It's really, really shaping up. So all I'm waiting for is my thern, uh, temperature sensor, which I'm going to go see where that is online. And we will resume shortly. All right. Took a little quick lunch break. So I got this on the conduit thing. It's blue, kind of like the other stuff in the engine compartment. You can see it there. Got those two lower hoses on, vacuum brake booster hose, that vacuum hose, that, <coughs> that heater hose. I was going to wait. I ordered a um, new temperature sensor. I was going to wait for that, but I think I'm just going to put the old one on. I kind of don't want to wait anymore to get it all back together. When it comes, I can always change it some other time. It wasn't bad, so I hope it wasn't bad. But I'll put the old one on and try to get it all buttoned up so I can start it. So uh, let me get to the temperature sensor. I always like to put some of this grease, this dialectic grease, dialectric grease, dialectic, it's not philosophy, Whoa. and it just kind of lubes up that o-ring. Where's the little clip? I know it was around here, there it is. There it is. I think I will plug it in. There it is. So it's plugged in. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. And that goes in there. And the clippy. Clippy jobber goes in here somehow. Okay, I figured it out. I'm an idiot. No agreeing. I thought it just went into that one hole like that. It goes like this. Let's see if I can remember how this thing went on. It goes on like this. And you gotta line that thing up in there. I should have just left it because it wasn't wasn't moved at all. Something like that. And then this bracket here gets held on with the lower bolt. Yeah, bracket goes there. Just like that. I just hope this doesn't leak. I hate doing things more than once. You know what I mean? Nothing more frustrating than doing all this work on a car and then something isn't right. 
you gotta take it all back apart. Super frustrating. I've had to do that many times in my life. Okay, so this one goes up there. Try to get that wiring out of the way for now. than that thing down there. I'll tell you what. Bobby, I'll tell you what. That was my sorry king of the hill impression. Fill it with coolant just to make sure nothing leaks. Cross, cross fingers. Okay, so I threw this on off camera. I've got all the various hoses and uh, whatnots hooked up under there. And I started it up, and there appears to be no leaks. I am going to still wait to clamp that hose onto those plastic holders, because I've got, I've got a new temperature sender. Of course, I don't know if I want to take that out, because then the cool it's going to ooze out of that. So, whatever. I'll get back to that. i got to put this um, plastic thing on top of the battery, and put this on better permanently and take it for a drive. I may take the camera with me just for the heck of it. And I also need to put this battery. Um, how does this go? Let's go like this. And it goes like that. Gotta have the battery tied down. Build a new bench, a new workbench over here. That's what I was gonna do before this thing popped up. So that's tied up. I'm gonna wait to put the cover on here after I take it for a drive just to, you know, I hate doing things twice, like I said, so I'll just take it for a drive, take it to the car wash. Well, maybe I will put the cover on there. Take it to the car wash. I don't want the battery to get wet. Let's see if we can get this thing on here without screwing too much up. It's got to go in there. It goes in there. This in here, snapper on, snapper on her. I'm gonna get some spray on there. I know this says uh, citrus cleaner, but it's this uh, D 
degreaser. I got this Odo Van degreaser. It works really well. I don't know why I'm spraying it on here because this all this all gets covered up by the engine, so I can't really spray it off. But oh well. mainly want to get it cleaned up back here. fix type thing here Not going on need a better squirt vial for this stuff staring at the battery there. Sorry about that. Take my light off. We'll edit that part out. Spray cam. I'll slow this down, it'll look tremendous. That's cinematography for you. Yeah, this degreaser is really good stuff. I want to get it on my sticker there that I replaced the timing belt. Alrighty, that should do it. Let's take her to the car wash. When you disconnect your battery, I learned this the hard way, you have to put it in, I already did this, so I'm not going to do it again, to the first position right there. Then you hold the gas pedal all the way to the floor for 20 seconds and then turn it off and then put it back in here, leave it for a couple minutes and then start it. Steering wheel light is on, the brake light, all this other stuff. I think that goes away. I don't have the reverse camera installed yet. because this has, uh, oh, the brakes are better. It has the electronic steering. You have to drive for a while. So it learns.
Volkswagen. Yeah, and the check engine light has gone off so far. air in the engine that's gone off so far so that may have been the crack in the vacuum hose may have been what was causing that and now that I have the vacuum brakes are better not worlds better but they are better and everything else seems to be operating well it runs better okay that video uh, ended abruptly and uh, I think what happened is my card filled up I was recording in 4k and I didn't realize it and the car just filled up and ran out of space so as I was driving to the car wash but to um, finish this up it's been a couple days uh, since I fixed it and I've driven it a couple times and the engine light has not come back on so I am going to call this fixed. Um, I went ahead, this is a OBD11 thing I got. It's a little dongle that you put underneath in your OBD thing and then scan it. I scanned it and cleared the codes. I just re-scanned it and I got one problem here. And so I'm going to look at that. Well, it says two faulty control units. And let's see, we got one here for the engine. It says... Um, Cooling fan one control circuit, lower limit not reached. Uh, I'm going to just clear that. And let's see what the other one is, if there is another one. Uh, digital radio, which I changed the radio, that's probably why. It's not able to... To scan it because the radios yeah that's it control unit not responding so I think let's see everything else is fine I don't know what that cooling fan was about but the engine light uh, the engine code has not come back so hopefully this helps somebody and I will see you next time